everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Hannah's Cuisines. Got lots of things happening in the kitchen um, today, so you're gonna hear some noises. I've got something deep frying, and all those videos will be coming up. But I wanted to do a very healthy video for you, and this is going to be my banana spread. And I love making this spread. I had actually learned this from my mother-in-law years ago when um, she used to make this, and it's just really, really healthy for you. So in here, um, I'm going to put very little um, ghee, which is clarified butter. And believe it or not, ghee is very healthy for you. So, but it's optional. So if you wanted to go ahead and use olive oil, you can. So I'm just gonna let this um, melt a little bit. And I've got all these bananas here that are beautiful, really, because the black skin just means that it, it's got the sugar content is very high in that. So that means that this is going to cook up really, really well. And it's gonna be very, very sweet. And the trick to this is just cutting these bananas up and you don't have to have a measurement. You can just do as many bananas as you have. And you wanna put this on very low heat. And then once I get this in there, I'm gonna show you the second stage of what the bananas should look like. And then I'll show you a third sta stage of the final um, stage of what it should look like. So they're cooking on medium low here and you can see that they're kind of getting all melty and they're, they're gonna get to a point where they're, it's just gonna be like one soup completely. So I'm just gonna let them go until all these have really softened up and then turn it on uh, to low and then I'll show you what they look like. So after 10 minutes, look at what we have. And this is why I used a bigger pan because I always like to cook it in like a, like one layer. It just gives, it, give, it becomes brown uh, quicker. Now, I'm gonna cook this more just because I like to have it, have that caramelized uh, taste in it. And so we're gonna cook this and I wanna show you the heat. The heat, you know, you can lower it if you're doing other things, but otherwise just bring it up just a tad bit more. Otherwise it's just gonna take longer for it to, and just make sure that you come and stir it like every like a minute or so. And we're gonna let this go a little bit more and one thing I forgot was we're gonna be adding about two or one to two tablespoons of chia seeds in there. So we'll do that when this is completely, completely browned and cooked through. Here, um, I've got some chia seeds that I um, soaked up some chia seeds and I'm taking about two tablespoons of it and I'm gonna put it into the banana. I just want you to see, I know it probably doesn't look very good, but I'm telling you, my whole kitchen smells amazing. So I'm just gonna drop that in there and just mix it up. I'm just gonna take all of that. You just want to mix it up really well. I'm going to put some into my serving dish here. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go grab my piece of toast that I put into the oven. Or into the toaster. So basically it's just like butter. You just wanna take as little or as much, spread it on top of your toast. So good, so good, and no sugar added. This is all natural sugar. This will give you 
a sugar fix if nothing else does. It's just really, really good. So I'm going to give you guys a project. You guys think about what else you can do um, to put this in either desserts or whatever. What else you guys can do and put it down into the comment section. Tell me what you guys would do with um, this kind of dip. How would you integrate that in like um, healthy, uh, fr uh, healthy desserts? So I hope you guys liked this very quick how to make my uh, natural banana and chia seed uh, spread. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.